Tô <risos> eu. <laughs> what a laughable religion peace of Christ to all of you uh, I invite your friends please and let us have some good time together and today we are going to see how the Muslims they are really making mockery of their own false religion this is a Shia a sheikh in case you do not know what Shia uh, Shia is a group of Muslims, supposedly, who support the family of Muhammad against uh, the Muslim Sunni who support uh, the enemy of Muhammad's family, who killed his grandsons. And it's very funny that the majority of Muslims support the enemy of Muhammad's family who killed his family, and they don't uh, support uh, his family. So, uh, you know, what the Shia, they do, and the Sunni is saying, uh, they expose each other's stories. And today we have a story. Uh, and this sheikh is talking about Aisha. Uh, let us hear a little bit. And I will translate. And so you can understand with me why it is really funny and stupid. إذا شخص والعياذ بالله if a man دخل على زوجته ووجد عندها رجل غريب he came to his wife and he found a new man a strange man the first thing he will have a reaction he will divorce he might beat her he might even kill her because a strange man in her bedroom in his bedroom Disaster will happen if a man see that. Except the Prophet of the Muslim Sunni. And he say, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You see, he, he, he's making fun of the Muslim saying, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He called Muhammad system. He's a system. You know, system for fornication. So he called you know, those Shia, they consider that the Prophet of the Muslims, Sunni, he is not their Prophet. And this is why he's making fun of Muhammad calling him Sallallahu Alaihi System. You know, System, English word, right? So he doesn't say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which means salute him. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he is saying the Prophet of the Sunni Muhammad, he entered upon his wife in her room and he found a stranger. And he said, you know, that if what would happen if a man he find a stranger in his bedroom with his wife alone what would happen disaster will happen and he said in the best scenario the prophet muhammad system he will beat her or divorce her or maybe even kill her but none of that happened listen carefully listen 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 to this story. This story is exists in Sahih al-Bukhari, reported from Aisha herself. She said, "The Prophet, may Allah pray on him, system, he entered upon me, and he found a man with me." A man, a man, not a youth. You do not need the sound, so you can hear me when I'm translating. I mean, I can put the sound loud, but you don't speak Arabic. Do you speak Arabic? The one who's saying there's no sound. Do you speak Arabic? No sound, even my sound? Even my sound, there is no sound? You don't hear me. Do 
Do you hear me, guys, or you don't hear him? I mean, are you talking about his sound or my sound? I mean, people are weird. The guys speak Arabic. None of you speak Arabic. And you want to hear his voice? I mean, if it's a song he is singing, I would say those people, they want to hear. It's important. All right. The guy is speaking Arabic. I know that all of you are very fluent in Chinese, Japanese, Portuguese, but not Arabic. Are you? I mean, only Muhammad Hijab speak Arabic and Fifi. System. Yeah, they want to hear the guy talking now. They speak languages. What I can do? Uh, 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 Al Hassan. The grandson of Muhammad, he speak only 70 million, 75 million languages only. He did beat me. Can you believe it? I speak only 70, you know, uh, 74, 999, 99 languages. This guy, he speak 75 million. So now they want to hear the audio and the video. Why? I don't know. The guy is speaking Arabic. So this is how you disturb what I do usually. So as you see, Aisha, she have a man, he entered upon her room, and she's alone. And now Muhammad is a questioning, who is this man? What do you expect her to say? To say? Muhammad Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is asking her, who is he? Let's hear what this guy wanna say. Well, uh, Muhammad he said to Aisha, Ya Aisha, oh Aisha, who is this? She said, This is my brother from breastfeeding. <laughs> who is this? This is a man, Muhammad, he never saw all his life. You know, the town is a small town. It's a village. Who is this man? Obviously, is a, you know, like, who is this man? Muhammad never saw before in her room. <laughs> she said, he is my brother from breastfeeding. <laughs> hey, Muslim ladies. I hope you are learning what to say to your husband if you if he come and he find me with you in your room. What do you say? Christian Prince is my brother from breastfeeding. This is the voice of Ali Dawa. We are proud of it. <laughs> Christian Prince. <laughs> Christian Prince. First of all, you're all there. This is what didn't happen. Oh, there was like a night. What did you know what this didn't happen? This is what happened. Christian Prince. I trained you to find me I did the Bukhari said that. It's as I can like, don't squeeze yourself too much, but your nails will come from your anus. I can find it so easy. Get the breath. First of all, I trained you. That Adith is not Sahih. Abdul, it is Sahih al Bukhari. How it is not Sahih? It is in Sahih al Bukhari and it is not Sahih. Get the breath. First of all, this is not al Bukhari. <laughs> Uh, let us go to the hadith and then we come back to the sheikh who later he could not continue actually he had to shut down his program because he was laughing so bad and he apologized he need to go because he cannot take it no more and you should see the Muslim Sunni calling him and they they do with him the same as they do with me they call me like all kind of names and they were calling him all kind of names yeah read it read it Read it. All right, let us see. Where is the hadith here? Uh, mm, this is what? Uh, here it says, this is uh, reported by Abu Dawood and Ibn Majah. Let us see here. Aisha said, when Allah Messenger intend uh, 
This is not the hadith, hold on. Where is the hadith here? I heard him saying this in Bukhari, but let us see, let us check. Where is the hadith? Where is the hadith? Okay, hold on, let us see. All right, here we go. And this is Sahih. Actually, in Arabic here, it says clearly Sahih. But this one here, it says, uh, this is a different report. Uh -huh. Okay, here we go. This is Sahih Muslim. Let us see if we have it in Sahih Bukhari too. Uh, this is here, it says Sahih to Sunan uh, Nasa'i. Here it says Sahih to. Uh, yeah, look how many times uh, the hadith is reported. Let's go to the uh, Sahih Muslim, that's enough. So here you see it says, Allah Messenger, uh, Allah pray on him system visited me when a man was sitting near me sitting where sitting where 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 so muhammad he had many houses as you know muslim they say muhammad was a very poor man but he had 13 wives each one of them she have her own house he came to visit Aisha for sex, as usual. He found a man in her room, sitting near her. Where, where? Near her. This is a Muslim translation, not mine. Don't Muslim, don't tell me I'm fabricating translation. It doesn't say that, see, me. And uh, uh, line number 110, uh, Christian press, this hadith. Is reporting from Shu 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 told Mumu told Mumu Muta to Fi 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 told Kuku Kuku is very well known to be a liar. Here we go. <laughs> we dismiss the story. But in the front of us, it says Sahih, authentic. As you see, all of those. And you know which book we find this reference? The book of Sakalin. So Allah Messenger visited me and he found a man, a man was sitting near me. And he summoned this to approve. Uh, actually, in, Ar in, in, in Arabic, it says she saw in her his face, uh, you know, like an anger. He's upset. Uh, like he don't like what he see. Obviously, he saw something not right. And I saw a sign of anger in his face. And I said, Messenger of Allah, he is my brother from breastfeeding, prostration. <laughs> And then Muhammad, he said, whereupon he said, <laughs> consider who is your brother are because of four stage, since four stage is a through hanger. <laughs> what the heck does that mean? In the Rida, I mean, al Maja. So the Shia Sheikh, he is saying, what kind of religion? Not this guy. Not this guy, too. Where is the video? <laughs> Not this guy too. Where is the video? Where is the video gone? Hold on. I lost the video. <laughs> Hold on. Give me a second. Where where is the video gone? Oh boy. Give me a second. Ah, here we go. And this is the hadith here in Arabic. So, this Shia man is asking, what kind of religion the Muslim Sunni they have? And the Shia, by the way, they believe with no question that Aisha is a whore. She was sleeping with everybody in town. And there is many incident about Aisha and all of those are reported by the Muslim Sunni. So this guy is not making the story now. He is reading what the Sunni books says about Aisha. 
But here you think about it. How this man, he is a brother of Aisha, as she called him, by what? Breastfeeding. But Muhammad never saw him, never heard of him before. Same time, if Islam forbidden adoption, and the person he is considered a, a, like a, he shall be called, there, there is no adoption. Is, is a breastfeeding ado adoption? Either you say you, ad you can adopt in Islam, or there is no adoption. So the Quran is forbidden, in, in a, for, forbidden adoption in Islam. So what does breastfeeding mean? So when they want breastfeeding, when they want uh, uh, you can adopt, and then Muhammad, he wanted to have sex with his own son, wife, so he forbid adoption. And now we find Aisha, and this man is dying laughing at the story. Having a strange man, his her husband never saw him before. You see, how you marry a woman, and you are from the same little town, the same village, not a town, and that there is a man, he is considered as her brother, but Muhammad never heard of him. And let us say for the sake of argument, he is considered like a brother. Why he is getting inside the house when the husband is not there sitting next to her? Especially if we knew that Muhammad, he made it so clear that no man can enter his house when he is not there, and even he is there, Nobody can see his wives. And this Shia man is laughing at a religion. The Shia, they don't believe in the breastfeeding garbage, but they believe in other stuff, like they still practice muta, which is more fun. Uh, <laughs> I cannot translate that, sorry. <laughs> He said, said, okay, go, 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 you, you know, go, he's laughing at them. So he said, well, he said, breastfeeding from hunger, you know, hunger, what hunger? Sallallahu alayhi system. Sallallahu alayhi system. Very strong, very strong one, very strong one. <laughs> this is a very strong story. <laughs> بس زين يوم واحد رايح بالمسجد يصلي المراجيح التراويح رجع <تصفيق> he say محمد he went to 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 uh, you know the Muslim they have a prayer it's called تراويح so instead of saying تراويح he he call it مراجيح مراجيح in Arabic means the swing like you know you go to swing <تصفيق> so محمد he's not going to pray he's a pimp he's going to the mosque to give a chance to his wife to fornicate yeah I'm very bored let us tell us more جعل الأوضة لقى <laughs> he came to the room, he found a man next to his wife, and his, uh, his clothes is very short, showing his legs. <laughs> he said to her, what is this, what the heck, what, what this guy is doing here? <laughs> oh, don't you know? Don't you know, huh? He said, what? She said, this is my brother from breastfeeding. Hello. <laughs> you never saw him before. You never saw him before. <laughs> ah, the guy is going to have diarrhea from laughing. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is life on TV, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I swear by Allah. I swear by Allah. Wallahi, wallahi I, this is a disaster. This is a disaster with every meaning. So, why she said he is my brother from breastfeeding? Why she said that? Because, because he never saw him before. You never know him, which is make it very suspicious. I mean, if somebody is considered as a brother to her, I mean, he's a family member. So he should be in the, you know, from the first day he, he you know, 
I mean, he, he's a friend of Abu Bakr for a long, 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 long time. He never, he never saw this guy around. Never, ever. Sister system, Muhammad system, never saw him. He is not her brother from her father, as an example. That's, I never saw him before. He's a, he's a stranger. This is a disaster. This is, this is a disaster for system, Mr. Muhammad system. <laughs> he called Muhammad system. <laughs> I like this system thing. I'm going to use it. You have copyright over it? Can I use it or you don't? Uh, do you mind? Muhammad system? Huh? <laughs> Police be upon him. You know what? We can exchange. You use police upon him, and I use system. What do you think? Like you borrow mine, I borrow you for a few days. She's saying, "Come on, don't make a big deal. You know, it's like uh, my cousin, my brother. You know, um, uh, my uh, you know." Just go, go, go to the mosque, finish your prayer, finish your prayer. <laughs> until we finish. She said, he said, uh, Aisha, she told him, go, go to the mosque until we finish. <laughs> oh, boy. The guy is going to, uh, is going to have heart attack from laughing. <laughs> <laughs> he said there's nothing more silly and stupid than those stories the Muslim believe in you know or excuse قال دخلت على عائشة قال دخل علي النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وعندي. She is repeating again what she said. Let me let us skip in the video a little bit. Maybe there's a Muslim caller will call to 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 insult him. والله العظيم هذا عليها ضحك غير مليار سنة. He said I I swear I, I, this is this is we should laugh at it. This is story for a coming billion year. لا عندي بث مباشر ارض اضحك بعد والله ما بعدنا ما مكتفي. I want to laugh more but I cannot. قالت عائشة دخل علي النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم في صحيح البخاري. سيستم محمد سيستم. وعندي رجل غريب. He's reading again. قال يا عائشة من هذا؟ قلت أخي من الرضاعة. He is my brother from breastfeeding. He can repeat the story and he laugh. Respect محمد سيستم man what's wrong with you? He said, now Muslim Sunni, a guy, he, you know, uh, he entered into her room. And he found that he, she have with her a man and she will tell him, this is my brother from breastfeeding. يدخل أخوها الموحد على الأساس عند غير كلاوات ابن الشيشان. Mm. He's saying, you know, uh, uh, they claim that they have jealousy for their women, but they are liars, klawat, you know, they are like fabricators, the sons of Shishenia, you know, because the people of Shishan, the Shia, they accuse them to be bring fornication to Iraq, and they bring those blonde Shishenian women for fornication. So a Muslim Sunni, he entered upon his 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 wife or sister. He found a man with her in the in the bedroom. She would say to him, "Shut up, you know, you son of Muta." The Prophet he entered upon Aisha and he found a man with her, and she told him, "This is my brother from breastfeeding." It's the same my situation. <laughs> Shut up. You, you, do not, you do not know him, you idiot. You do not know him. He is my brother from breastfeeding. Close the door and go out. <laughs> Close the door. We want to finish. <laughs> and you go to the go to the bath to take a shower after you finish. <laughs> and they say they are monotheist. Those people are monotheist.
منو هذا ايش يسوي عندك اخويا هو از ذس وات هي از دوينج ذير او هي از ماي برذر فروم بريست فيدينج من الرضاعه ما تقدر تحكي لين اخوه صدق ما تقدر صدق صدق يعني حسب هاي الروايه هي سين ام تروثفول اونستلي وذ يو يو كان نوت اوبن يور ماوث اف يو سي يور وايف اور سيستر هافين ا مان ذير شي ويل تيل يو اني تايم شي ويل تيل يو هي از ماي برذر فروم بريست فيدينج ذاتس ات سولد وات يو كان دو ات هابن تو ذا بروفيت هيم سيلف اند هي ديد نوثينج So he's accusing Muhammad's system to be a pimp. You, know, you never saw this guy before. When, when he did the breastfeeding, and what kind of religion, if you're breastfeeding the person, he become your brother. I mean, what, what's wrong with those people? What kind of religion, if I breastfeeding, if a woman breastfeeding me, we became brother, or, she, or her mother breastfeeding me when I was a baby? He says, okay, when he did the breastfeeding, how come I did not know him? How come I never saw him before? <laughs> Who said that he have enough uh, breastfeeding? You have to have enough of them. <laughs> so he will become forbidden for <laughs> You know, guys, do you think if a person he been breastfeeded when he was let's say a, a child by a woman and then we leave the man this boy he become a man and the daughter of that woman they became she became a woman and then we can have them in one room and really he will believe that this is her sister who who in the world don't believe this just because they drank from the same uh, nipple milk <laughs> how many brothers and sisters i have We drank from the same milk we bought from Walmart. <laughs> Tomorrow I will go to Walmart and I will say to any girl, I want to go to with you to the bedroom. She said, what are you talking about? I'll call the police for you. He said, oh, shut up. We are brothers and sisters from breastfeeding. We are drinking the same milk. Look at the milk in my hand. Look at the milk in your cart. We are drinking the same milk. We are a brother and sister. <laughs> What the heck with this religion system? Bingo. Oh <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing to say. Oh my god, Allah I mean by the mic though. I cannot, oh, I, he's saying I cannot continue, I cannot. يدخل يدخل على مرته يبقى عندها رجال غريب غريب هو ما يعرفه بغرفة النوم اللي هي كانت عندها he's saying the guy is a stranger he never saw him and he is in the bedroom I mean you guys ask yourself why in the world he is in the bedroom Why he enter anyway if the husband is not there? What, why, what he, why he get in? What about you say, okay, when your husband is, you know, I will come back. I mean, why you enter upon to the woman? And why is she working him? Obviously, she is sleeping with the guy. The guy he came, Muhammad, he came, system. You know, she, you know, first uh, sit down, sit down. But who is this? And Muhammad, you can tell, it says he was angry. Suddenly she come with the story that he is her brother from breastfeeding. And obviously Muhammad, he don't want to make a scandal because he don't dare. Otherwise he would lose Abu Bakr, the father of Aisha. And he is a hypocrite man. He's a pimp. And this is what the Shia is trying to tell us. It's one room. There's only one room. <laughs> imagine, 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 imagine you are a monotheist, huh? You are a monotheist. Huh? Imagine you enter, you find a man in your wife's bedroom. Imagine, imagine, imagine my brother, the monotheist, when the police of Adab, which means uh, the ethic police, You know, like in the Middle East, 
uh, they have a special unit for police for uh, uh, to chase for uh, like uh, um, prostitution uh, and uh, I'm sure many countries they have it even in the West so uh, he said when the, uh, the, the police of prostitution enter upon the room and they will see this what will happen <laughs> رايح بوليس الأدب يقول لها مين ده يا بنت رايحة ألا أيلالو يا سعادة الزابط ده he's speaking Egyptian now so he said the policeman he would say to her who is this guy with you in the bed she would say oh Mr. Officer this is my brother from breastfeeding <laughs> oh boy <laughs> <laughs> Police officer, no, nobody told you. Is my brother from breastfeeding? <laughs> Is my brother from breastfeeding? Oh boy. <laughs> I have to laugh. I can't. Uh, I just think about it. And then Nabi, Nabi Sunnah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Dakhal Ala Aisha. Imagine. Imagine the Prophet of the Muslim Sunni, Prophet Muhammad system, he entered upon his wife in her room. He found a man, he's a strange. <laughs> Imagine. And what did he say? <laughs> may Allah curse your religion. <laughs> he said, May Allah curse your religion. <laughs> oh, my God. Go, go. <laughs> <laughs> let him go, let him go. He is her brother from breastfeeding. <laughs> what a comedy religion. <laughs> he is my breast he's my brother from breastfeeding. <laughs> المصيبة لا هو علق لا قال لها طلعي لا قال لها ما أعرف هذا لا 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 قال إنما الرضاعة من المجاعة ويقولون راح نام مدة he is saying that the more disaster that Muhammad system he did not do anything she just told him that he is my brother from breastfeeding he just went and lay down as if nothing happened him <laughs> He did not ask the guy, when you, when, who are you, who is your father, who is your dad, where you, where you live, you know, to see what's happening, you know. He just, he said, and he went and he lay down. Muhammad, he went and he lay down, as nothing happened. The man next to, sitting next to his wife, in the bedroom. And she told him, he is my brother from breastfeeding. And Muhammad went and lay down. Where, you lay down where? Next to him? Is Aisha between you and the guy? Where he lay down? Adi. No, no problem. No problem. Yeah. Normal. Adi. Normal. No. He's making fun of them. Normal. Hold on. Adi. يكبس يكبس على اخت الموحد خطير صلى التراويح ويسمع صوت بالغرفه بيت طيب على اخته مثلا واحد هي هي went to the mosque to pray and then he came back and he found as an example his sister and he hear a voice or a sound of a man in the bedroom الجباب البلكونه مفتوح وجالس ولد غريب 
and he find the door of the balcony to the other side open and there is a strange man there <laughs> which means he, he meant that he jumped from the balcony <laughs> قولي له هذا منو هذا شو يسوي عندك بالبيت؟ قول هذا انما اخوي. Who is doing it? هذا اخويا من الرضاعة. Who is this? He is my brother from Bristol. اخويا رضاعة قبل لا يسافر بلغ امي ترضعه وامي رضعته وصح. My dad he told my mom to breastfeed him. صار اخويا وانت ما تدري هاي اول مرة اشوفه. تعال قبل ابوسه ابوسه سلم. You know, uh, this is my brother, but you never saw him before. You never saw him before. Ali, and this is Salim Ali. Tell me, my brother, my brother, how are you? Of course, he will be without clothes. Maybe after you wear your clothes. He said maybe he was not wearing any clothes, and you know he did he wear his clothes later. This guy he cannot hold himself from laughing. As you see, the whole video is about this topic. And actually, in the beginning, I skipped the beginning. A Muslim Sunni he called and he was cursing the man. And he was saying to him, Allah will burn you, Allah will destroy you, Allah will, you, you know, like the. This is a Muslim Sunni calling him and saying to him, You are, you know, you are insulting the mother of the believers, which means the wives of Muhammad's system. Wallahi, 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 what you are doing is a great, like a great, great sin. I swear by Allah, if you die, keep doing this, you are going to stay in hellfire forever. He hang up. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> uh, I will open my Skype if there is any Muslim would like to call us and uh, tell us what he think about the breastfeeding stories and uh, those Shia are laughing at Muhammad uh, system. If there is anyone would like to join us, my Skype is open and anyone from the system, Muhammad system would like to join us, yeah, please feel free. Uh, we appreciate Muhammad's system very much. As you see, he is a very nice guy. I mean, his wife, obviously, she is a decent woman. Uh, and uh, you Muslim, you have a lot of uh, open-minded religion, very open-minded. Old adult man, she, he can be breastfeeding by adult women. Amazing, you know? Uh, you know, they are conservative, by the way. The Muslims are very conservative. And if he divorces his wife, she can't come back to him unless in the neighborhood guy or the grocery store 7-Eleven he f her and uh, she, he have to taste her juice and she have to taste her, org her orgasm uh, a, a lot of uh, you know this is a very conservative religion we have to say and the prophet Allah muta ah, and the Muslim they practice muta ah, and Muhammad practice muta ah, which is uh, you know you rent to women for one hour two hours three hours it's up to you and uh, you know uh, at the end of the day, you can have four wives, you can have them all, you can have them separated, you can have, you can divorce, you can marry, remarry, as means you, you wish, you know. It's a very good system, Muhammad's system, peace be, uh, police be upon him, is the best system in the world. And you can marry children, and you can have children, and you know. So it is very, 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 very conservative. <clears throat> and they grow beard, if you, if you notice. They grow beard. Because they are very, very conservative. Very. This is the religion of conservatism, actually. Isn't it? So breastfeeding for adult is only for Sunni. <coughs> well, the Shia, I never saw the Shia believing in that. There's many things the, the Sunni believe in, the Shia don't. And the opposite. As an example, the Sunni, the Shia, they have things more funny. Like as an example, uh, watermelon is a Shia if she is a sweet, if she it's it's sweet. Uh, eggplant is the first one she witnessed to Ali and Muhammad, uh, to Muhammad as a prophet, and Ali is his uh, 
uh, for, like he is the one, the caliph, it will be after him. Eggplant. Uh, she, I believe, if you wear a black shoes, your penis will not stand up, even if you play the anthem for it. But if you wear a yellow shoes, your penis will be so good for boom boom. Uh, so those are like there's there is books for the Shia. Shia and Sunni are totally different religion. They are, uh, and this is you see the hypocrisy of the Muhammadan. If you ask them how many Muslim in the world, they count everybody. They count Ahmadiyya, they count the Rus, they count Shia. They, Shia, there's many sects too, but all of them at the end of the day, they share the same thing. They are against the Sunni. They count the Sufi, they count, they count everybody. But the second you ask them, what about the sect? They say, no, okay, let us take 600 million. What about the sect? Oh, this is, let us take 50 million. What about the sect? Oh, Sufi are not Muslim, they dance in the mosque, etc. Then we have to take Turkey, we have to take Azerbaijan, we have to take Chechenia, we have to take uh, Egypt. I mean, the, the, oh, just take the Sufi. Sufi is garbage, you know, take, take, uh, take. So who's left? You ask them about number, they count everybody. You ask them about details. Everybody is a Muslim. Who is a Muslim? You watch Mimi Hijab, Mimi Hijab making fun of every single Abdul. They are, those are Muslim, not Muslim. According to Mimi Hijab, the one who believe Allah have a hand, he is not a Muslim. Where is the video of uh, Mimi Hijab? Not this one, hold on. Uh, no, this is stupid. Uh, give me a second, hold on. <clears throat> no. Those are Muslims. Each Muslim he have his own religion. They don't even agree if Allah have hands or not, Allah have legs or not, Allah have a penis or not. They don't know who is Allah. Ask him. Yes. Sir. Ask him about boxing. I know. I know. That's yeah. why I was. I prison Allah has a hand. Allah has a hand. And he has fingers. So what does this prove? That Allah has? Has? A finger. A fingers. And he has, and the brother, and they're speaking one, two, three, four, five, and all the things he's saying, okay, he, he's getting it from the Salaf in a sense, but the way he's putting it together and he's adding it all together, and he has a shin. The day when the shin shall be laid bare, in according to a hadith in Bukhari, this shin is the shin of Allah. And he has a foot. Then Allah places his foot in the whole He's putting the, the whole picture of the man in, his, in, the, in the head of the person. Yes, it's clear and explicit. You go and tell your kids that. You go and tell a five-year-old, Allah has a shin. This shin is... You know, the son of Muta Amimi Hijab, he is worried about telling his kid that Allah has a shin, but he is not worried to tell his kid that the Prophet if a child. He have no problem to give his kid to be ifed, according to him. He said it clearly, if you watch his video, that in the Quran there is no... no if you read the Quran alone, it means you can have sex with any age. Even if it's one day old. So he's worried about telling his son, five, six years old kid, Allah has a shin. And uh, Mimi Hijab, why you are worried about that? What the problem? If your prophet says that. You know, the, the, the funny thing is that those people, they are in denial of what they defend. They defend, you know, this guy you asked Mimi Hijab, he defend the prophet and what he said, what the prophet But this is what the prophet said. The Prophet said, he, Allah, he put his foot in the, in the fire. The Prophet, the Quran says Allah have a shin. The Quran says Allah have a hand. Even Fifi have a video saying Allah have two hands. So what the problem with Mimi Hijab? He can't accept the situation. He have, he have to create a new God. Muhammad and they are not one religion. They are a billion of a billion of, everyone will give you a different answer. The guy who called me two days ago, remember the guy who told me, the African guy from Nigeria? He said to me, the angel, the shaitan was an angel. Where, where is that in the Quran? Nobody says that. Yeah, create a new religion. And then I said to him, okay, shaitan, you said to me, shaitan is male. As long as the Quran says the shaitan is male, that means there's a female, right? He said, yes, that's what I said. I said, okay, but you said that shaitan was an angel. Do angels have penis? He said, no. 
So I said, are you saying that later Allah grow penis to the, sh to the angel? <laughs> Uh, they fabricate anything, just say anything. This is religion of anything. You add penis to the angel, you take penis from the angel, you put a vagina for shaitan, you do anything. Uh, how shaitan have kids? They created a story. What the story is saying? That shaitan, when Allah created him, he created a penis for him in the right thigh and a vagina in the left thigh. So when he want to if himself, he do nikah. This is what the nikah mean, to if you're to if. So he moved his legs, and this would enter into that. And then he laid 10 eggs a day, and from every egg, 72 or 70 male and female Satan come out. So the first shaitan, he have a vagina and a penis. The first shaitan. The shaitan after that, they are male and female. Ah. Muslim story. We showed you the story just a few days ago about the queen, who the woman, who she killed the king by her shoe. She cut his head by her shoe. That's why, I mean, you know, you have to be worried. If you are talking, if you like you meet a friend or relative, or even you talk to your wife, and she is wearing high heels. Did you take any cushion, I mean, cushion of security? Are you armed, ready? What if she cut your head with high heel shoes? I mean, the guy have an army. He's a king. She killed him with her shoe. Say a, a, a rock. Say a piece of metal. You know what? Say a fryer in the kitchen. <laughs> but her shoe. <laughs> she killed the, the king by her shoe. <laughs> what a warrior this warrior is. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy I mean women's shoes is very powerful so the Shia make fun of the Sunni the Sunni make fun of the Shia for a very simple reason because Islam at the end of the day is so stupid and I challenge any Muslim Sunni to call me and refute this guy how you claim that you are conservative and how you can solve the problem any woman she can claim anything she can claim and especially if her mom she said yes if the, her mom she is accomplice in the fornication or with the mother she says yes I did the breastfeeding for him when he was a kid yes 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 what's his name by the way <laughs> and what does that mean what the, what the breastfeeding for adult I mean those people they F their own cousins you see in the old days you know society is so close so small like even in the time of Adam and Eve brother he sleep with his sister I mean there's no solution that's it there's this all the only human on earth but then we are thousands of years after and they are still having sex with their cousins so if a cousin you can have sex with how in the world the breastfeeding work which one is close to you in relation your cousin who have your blood who have a lot of your DNA or somebody drunk milk a Muslim guy, he called the sheikh in the TV and he asked him, he is worried. The sheikh, he said, what happened? He said, yesterday when I am doing some playing with my wife, you know, sexually, she, you know, I was sucking her nipple and she dropped, I dropped some milk from her breast in my mouth. Did she become my sister now? <laughs> Don't say the F, say B, H. Oh, okay, thank you. Guys, I will give you an example of, of some Christians who they are really funny. Who they are really annoying to me. I don't know why you came here. Don't come here if you don't like it. I just said the F. I didn't say that. Did I say that the whole word? So what I will do, what I, what I make it uh, 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 the H. What how I make it uh, the, the N. Or I make it the uh, K. Are you happy? I mean, how silly people are. Don't say the F for Christian Prince. Other person sent me an email in Patreon saying, I really like what you do, but can you stop calling the Muslim names? You know, what's wrong with those Christians? Do you think me, do you think I am your waiter, you know, making shish kebab hummus for you? You don't like what I do? Go, don't come here. 
And you, know, you never saw Jesus saying, you are the sons of the devil. I didn't even say that to the Muslims. I say, I say potatoes. There's a huge difference between the sons of the devil. The devil is your father. That's what Jesus said. The serpent, hypocrite, liar, murderer. I did not say what Jesus said. So those people who they claim to be Christians, and this is why, by the way, many people, they don't even consider you Christians, including me. You are so soft until you lost your touch, you lost your skin. What does that mean? What's wrong with those people? What I should do? I should uh, should I stop using the word penis too? What we what what we will call it? What we will call? It? Give me. Could I call it a cucumber? Banana, banana. Are you happy now? But isn't it the same thing? Let us say we change the word. But now everybody knows when I say banana, I mean penis. Then so what the point? If we change the name for the private part and we know what we mean, still we are saying the word at the end. So why don't say penis? Anyone, do me a favor. Anyone is a case sensitive, get lost. You do not even read the Bible. The Bible is describing people are this is not name calling so what I will tell you he was kissing her and don't say the F word say BH can I make it an acid and this is why Nobody fear you no more because you lost your voice. You don't, you are so polite. You are so, your politeness is, by the way, is an act of the devil. You don't dare to say to the gay, you are a gay. This is wrong because you are polite. You cannot hurt the feeling of somebody. You cannot say to the sinner, you cannot say that fornicator, you are a fornicator. Suddenly it's okay, fornicator, you know, fornicate, go fornicate. You don't dare to say any word to anybody. Because you're a potato. And I don't want potatoes here. True Christians is the people who say things as it is. False Christians is the one who sugarcoat. True Christian who use words as they are. What the point of it changing the word from F word to something else when the word is F word? That means you are a fabricator. Those people, by the way, they are, they are, they make me sick more than Muslims. And each one of them, he want to claim that he is the angel who is coming from the heaven. But, you know, in his head, in his mind, in his life, he hear the word day and night. And he, you know, it's okay for him. You, you watch a movie full of the F word to Jesus. You never shut down the, the movie. You never be caught Netflix. Can you watch a movie, there's no cursing to, the, to God? Can you watch a movie, there's no fornication? Can you watch a movie, there's no nakedness? You watch it. And maybe you pay money for it, mostly. And you are okay with it. You come here in, the, in my chat room, you say to me, don't say the F word. <laughs> you, you, love, you, you live in the effing world. <laughs> And here you are, you are the angel Jibreel. Police be upon him. The whole world is a fornicator. Can you open, can you even, you watch YouTube, can you, can you go through YouTube without seeing nakedness? Can you even walk in the street without seeing naked people? Can you go to the park without seeing naked people?
But there in the street, you go mute. You don't say, hey, people, shame on you. The Lord, he warned you. Uh, you shut up. Here, you are a hero. Don't say that for me. <clears throat> anyway, do we have any Muhammadan here? You know, and the funny is, the Muslims did not like me for a reason. There is a very simple reason. I'm not like the rest. So the Muslims, they make fun of the Christians day and night. Why? Because the Christians, they become so soft. And they understand the gospel wrong. Jesus said, but whoever, you know, stamp your right cheek, give him the other one. Ah, give me, give, hit me, hit me. No, 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 you are get it wrong. You hit me, I will hit you back. You hit me, I will hit you back. Why, why I will allow, allow, you got the verse wrong. Jesus is not allowing people to hit you. Jesus is not asking you to be coward, never. In the time of Jesus, there was a law where people, if they do such an act, they go to jail. So he's saying to use the law. Beating him back, you will go to, 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 to prison. You live in a country, there is a police, there is a judge. He himself been taken to court. You are not living in the, in the, in the jungle. So be smart. But nowhere Jesus says to you, if somebody want to kill you, isn't it, isn't it your Lord, the Messiah, he says, the one who don't have a sword, go on by one? How come your priests don't quote this verse to you? You never heard of it, don't you? This is why we as a Christians, if a priest told you that having arms is wrong, this a priest is a donkey. He do not know the gospel. Everybody have the right to defend himself. The gospel forbid us from being evil. Don't re respond to evil by evil. Don't be evil like them. But that not, does not mean you cannot protect yourself and defend yourself and defend your family and defend your land. The one who does defend his land, his family, his, his, himself, he is a coward, he's a potato. You don't deserve to live. The man who don't protect his wife from being raped, he is a rapist. He's a scumbag. He doesn't deserve to live. He better put himself inside the sewage. We are the Christians. We are the crusade. We are the one who eliminate the evil one, not the one who allow them to play in our yard. When it's time to war, we go to war. When it's time for peace, we are in peace. And the war time is when you are attacked. You should defend yourself. Only cowards, only cowards, they hide behind a phrase in the Bible says, Jesus says so, when Jesus never said to you what he said. And he never meant what you claim. And being so much polite, you better go and give us Jesus uh, you know, some uh, teaching then, how to be polite when he said to the Jews, not to the Hindus, not to the Buddhists, not the Muslims, the Jews who worship Elohim. You are like your father, the devil. He was a murderer from the beginning. Anyone believe that the God of the New Testament is different from the God of the Old Testament, he is a potato. It's the same God. We don't have two. We don't have a three. We don't have four. Go and read. Educate yourself. Obviously, Peter, he used to have a sword with him to cut his nails or maybe to shave his beard. Right? <clears throat>
Do we have any Muhammad in here? Any one of you here respects a man, a man he don't defend his land? You know, they show you a movie about a, a bunch of Christians, a bunch, a bunch of criminals, pirates, they come and they make fun of them, they beat them. Those Christians, they say, uh, may God forgive you, brother. Where in the Bible it says that? Those are criminals. You see? When, when somebody, uh, 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 let us say he make a mistake with you. Let us say he can be shamed and he feel that he is wrong. Then you use what the Lord he says to you. Forgive him, maybe he will feel the shame. But they are criminals. You let them beat you, they will take your wife. You let them beat your, take your wife, they will take your daughter. You let them take your daughter, they will take you too. Maybe they will rape you too. So there is a kind of people you have to stop them from committing crimes. And there is a people just maybe insulting you. Just insult. Okay, let it go. But somebody assaulting you, attacking you, invading your, your, your house, your family, your land, you have to defend yourself. And stop your stupidity about don't say this and don't say that. In fact, when you don't want me to say that Muhammad said the F word, you are defending Muhammad. Why? Because you are trying to make Islam look nicer. I try my best to make it the, 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 the way it is. And those who are Christian, they don't want to say Muhammad said the F word. No. So what do we say? Intercourse, intercourse. But this is not what he said. He did not say intercourse. He said the F word. Are you trying to make Muhammad look nice? Sound better? Uh, do we have any Muhammadan? I guess now Muhammadan they are worried about their wives coming home or he's coming home and he found a man in the bedroom with his wife and then she tell him he is my brother from breastfeeding any Muhammadan here and again anyone here is a case sensitive please leave you don't have to stay here nobody is forcing you it's a it's an internet, you know, you close the page, go, go watch uh, 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 how to fry an egg. You know, here we fry Muhammad. Go watch, you know, the videos, the most, the most popular videos is about food. Enjoy watching food. You know, something important for life. Maybe you learn a career, how to cook, and you became a chief of a kitchen one day, and you have a king chicken uh, hat and then you will be higher in KFC -E 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 Ali Muhammadan I have a lot of viewers no I don't those are just little but as you see because I keep screaming at them so I get little, uh, uh, many they get uh, upset and they leave so I'm trying to make some upset. Any Mohammedan here? Honestly, like what, what is the most view you find in YouTube? If I go right now, search, you know, I like to, uh, I, for me, I like camping. I like to do camping, like, you know, in the mountains, etc. Uh, me, myself, I have good skills in, uh, uh, like, uh, you know, surviving skin let us say uh, so i watch videos but now how, can you even watch a video on youtube about uh, about those things you see nothing but naked women a woman she is making a tent 
and now she makes a fi some fire and she go in the in, in the lake and you can, I mean she is almost almost if not at all naked and how many people they view the video she have 300,000 in two days 400,000 Christian Prince how many ah, 20,000 30,000 we make it 50 hmm but we don't have legs we don't have ass and we don't have boobs can I say boobs or somebody will be offended hmm Like sometimes even you type like you know a uh, rain video like I like the sound of the rain I, you cannot even do that no more w naked women I mean what the rain have to do with naked women I don't know and then YouTube will come to you and says your videos is against our guideline but naked women all over YouTube is not against their guideline They have videos even how to take care from a vagina, which means you see the vagina there in YouTube. Supposedly, this is for scientific purpose. It is not against the guideline of YouTube. <laughs> I, I searched for a video looking for, uh, maybe I can find a shake. Uh, talking about how the prophet used to take hero from his private part and you you should see what I saw <laughs> I mean don't see don't see <laughs> sorry <laughs> oh boy oh boy do we have any Muhammadan here anyone want to tell us what's going on and why the Shia Sheikh is laughing at Islam horribly? Aisha, she found a nigga, and she, she, the Prophet, he found a man in the bedroom of Aisha, sitting next to her. She told him, This is my brother in breastfeeding. Don't show you? No, no, I will not show you. I will not show you. I can show you the hadith about the story. The Prophet cleaned himself with a Nora which is using sugar, kind of a sugar, like uh, cooked, which will become like very sticky gum. And then you put it in your skin and then you take the, you know, fast, you take the thing fast and then we'll take the hair from your body. So Muhammad, he did that 1400 years ago. And according to Muslims, the one who taught him how to do that is the angel. Some hadith says that the first one who taught, hold on, let me, let me try to remember. Um, what the hadith is saying uh, let me see I'm just trying to remember My keyboard is switching to English when I want to type Arabic. Not good. What's wrong with this keyboard? All right. Uh, uh, there's a hadith actually. It says, actually, we did read it not long time ago. That the first one who taught how to do a Nora uh, is the genie taught it to Suleiman. And if you remember, we talked a story about Balqis, Balqis, the queen of or the queen of uh, Yemen, that she, the genie, they caused her to have a lot of hair in her legs. So Suleiman, he will not like her. So Suleiman, he asked his shaitan advisor. He have an advisor. He's a shaitan. He asked him how we can take the hair from her without causing harm to her. Do you remember the account of Suleiman's story? The one we told you about uh, Balqis? Not, not long ago. Anyone save the link? You remember the, you know, when uh, we told you about uh, the woman, she, uh, she killed the guy with her shoe? Nobody saved the link? 
If you have that link, you should find the same story there. So the genie, the shaitans, they taught Suleiman how to do an nawra, which means how to take hair from the body, and he used it with Balqis because shaitan, he made Balqis have a lot of hairy legs. So a hair legs like became like a gorilla. Do we have any Muhammadan? The admins who have the link, they can, they can post it maybe. But the admins here, they are, you know, taking a nap. Maybe nobody saved the link. For me, I look for reference and here we go. Phil is the, always, the only one is always ready. Uh, No, not walks in a liner. This is a different one. This is about teaching Suleiman how to do nawra, but not to himself, to the women, to Balqis. And that Muhammad, because obviously he's a female, he do it. Now, in the, in the West, there is some men, they do that. But you know, for us in the Middle Eastern, this is a big shame. In the Middle East, if a man, he take hair from his body, it's a big, big shame. In fact, if a man have no hair in his body, I know that that may be offending for somebody, but, but it's our culture. They called him Banut, which means, what does that mean, girly? It's an insult. But it's a fact, there are some people, they have no hair. They have no hair, they are, you know, this is how they are, they don't have much hair. Uh, and there is, for sure, some ethnic group too, like in Asia, uh, most of men, they don't have hair. So is that a problem? No, I mean, you are born this way. But in the Middle East, if you take hair from your body, that is a very bad sign about how, 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 let us say, what you think about yourself, how you consider yourself. Do you consider yourself to be a man or you want to be pretty like a woman? So when a man, he take hair from, take the hair from his legs or his chest like Mimi Hijab, he did, that means he's trying to be girly. What do you say about uh, 6,000 American Muslim coming to boat? Muslim, uh, uh, African? Uh, I mean, this country, uh, you know, this country, it's not only about Muslims. I mean, those people, they have no borders. So do you blame people to come? I don't blame Muslims to come. I don't blame if uh, 6 million come. Uh, let them come. The Americans are stupid. It's not only about Muslims. And then do you know who's coming in this border? Criminals, rapists, you never know. Regardless if they are Muslim or Christian or Hindus or Buddhas. Nobody knows who's coming. Stupid country. This is what happened to you when you have Democrats. Uh, good luck. This is what the Democrats do. A bunch of donkeys. Don't, don't cry. You with them there? <laughs> you, you get what you're asking for. Do you blame somebody? living in poverty, to come to this country? Sure not. If I have a person live in Nigeria or Zambia or any country, and hardly I can, you know, buy a sandwich a day. And then they say to me, there's a country, it's called America, the border is open. They have big McDonald's there. And not only that, even if you are homeless, they give you money. <laughs> Why do you want to stay there? <laughs> and they have a president, his name is Joe Biden, he says, everybody is welcome. <laughs> Good for them. <laughs> the land of stupidity. Yeah, the whole West is messed up. Not only, I mean, Europe is messed up. I mean, America is stupid people. You know, those Western people, before I come to, to the West, I used to think about them highly. Why? Because I say, okay, they are educated. Look, look, look how high their buildings. Look, look, they went to the moon. Look at the technology. Look, they are, yeah, they are, they are the, the best in those things. Anything else? Zero. Potatoes. The border is open. Crimes in Chicago. A, th a hundred kids go, kid go inside the store and they rob the store and police don't even show up. Why? Because uh, it's, uh, it's less than $800. We should not arrest them. <laughs> they are creating a, a society of thieves. So uh, it is, you deserve it. You know, you deserve it. You let it happen. This is what you get. 
They, you know, they want to fight the gospel. They want to fight the Bible. They want to fight teaching uh, uh, faith and belief in schools. And then what you got after that? Eh, drugs, vanity, people like walking like zombies in the street. That's what you get. And then you get to Muslims coming to you to school you. I mean, a guy is coming from a country is destroyed. He himself, as a Muslim, destroyed his own country. He's coming now to your country to destroy it too. It's not enough what they did there to themselves and to others. They are going to continue here. You allow them. And you welcome them. And not only that, your president, he go on TV and says, Islam means peace. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He said, if a man, he says something wrong, he change it by his hand. If he could not change it by his hand, he changed by his mouth. If he could not change it by his mouth, change it by his heart. Biden is quoting Muhammad. Obama, when he was a president, he made a special day every day to tell us about Ramadan, the benefit of Ramadan. And those, and those donkeys, they say to you, Obama is not a Muslim. He is a Muslim, he is a Shia. That's why in the time of Obama, he killed tens of thousands of Muslim Sunni in Afghanistan. He was supporting the Shia in Afghanistan against the Sunni. The, even the, the warehouse of bombs in the USA in the time of Obama got empty. Totally empty. There's no, we, we are short of animation. He was bombing Afghanistan every day just to support the Shia. Uh, yeah, this is why he released all the, the, the money of Iran. Don't you know? Did you ask yourself why even Biden now is doing his best to release it? Because Obama is insisting. Obama is pushing him to do it. Why always when Obama or Biden, Iran will be relieved? Did you ask yourself? Shia. Trump, he put sanctions. Biden, he left the sanctions. Obama, he, he fell up an airplane and he sent it all of it to Iran. Fell up with money. So, anyway, this is not our topic. Guys, why you change my topic? Focus, focus in the Muhammad system. Muhammad system. Anyone want to us about Muhammad system? Anyone? Who is a Muslim when I call us and talk about Muhammad system? Trump is an idiot like more than Obama too. Trump is the one who support the state of Qatar which killing Christians every day in the Middle East. Trump the donkey is the one who forced Saudi Arabia to lift sanctions on Qatar. Trump the coward is the one who went in the front of the White House and he said Qatar supporting terrorism, it's time for it to stop supporting terrorism. Two weeks after Qatar rented his son-of-law building for one billion dollar. Since then Qatar is our best friend. Don't tell me Trump, he is a piece of shit like, like Obama and like, like Biden. I used to respect this man. All of them, they are liars. All of them, they are corrupt. All of them, they fool you. Trump, he sent people to, 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 the, to, the, uh, to the Congress, to the government building, and then they got arrested. And what he do? A week afterwards, he was playing golf. He never mentioned them. He never visited one of them. He washed his hand from them, but he is the one who sent them there. So he sent your kids to die for him. Some people, they are going to stay in jail for 20 years because of stupid Trump. Because they listened to him. And now what he's doing? He's having fun. And your son in jail. Not his son. Did his son go with those people? No. Did his daughter go with them? No. They are billionaires having fun, flying with the most expensive airplanes. And your son and your daughter are in jail. I know many of you will be upset, but I say the truth. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't take a side. 
Get it out of here, righteous. Stupid. Don't come here again. But people don't like to listen to the truth, you know. What people they do, they take a side. They don't listen to their mind. I mean, think what this guy did. Okay, the economy was good, etc. But this guy, he betrayed us. Aren't you upset that all those people in jail? I know you will say to me, well, they are chasing him too. Still, he can say something. He can say, you know what, I'm not going to leave you. He can say, you know what, when I go to be president, I'm going to free you. He, he went to mute. He went to play golf. When Erdogan, he took our holy church in Constantinia, the coward Trump, he posted at that day in his account in Facebook, as I remember, or Twitter, that he enjoyed this dish. The whole world is talking about what Erdogan did. And Trump, he never heard of it. So why I shall respect this man? A coward idiot. And now in the Kimi election, what we shall do? We have no choice. If he is the nominee, we have to vote for him. Otherwise, we will stuck with, the, with this madman, Biden, and his madness. So we have, all of them, they are corrupt. But at least Trump is better than them. So we have to go with the worst scenario. He is, he is, you know, is, we are not voting between two good men. We are voting between the, the, the bad and the ugly. Not the good and the bad and the ugly. We are just voting between the bad and the ugly. Do we have any Mohammedan here? Anyone? Oh, don't worry, I'm always real. This is why many people don't like me. I don't take a side, I say things as it is. I don't care, if, even if you are my, my, uh, my real father, even if you are my mother, even if you are my sister, even if you are my son, I don't care. You are the bishop, you are a priest, you are no, I don't care. I say things as it is, I don't, I don't sugarcoat. I make fun of myself when I deserve it. Don't I? I make fun of myself. Especially when I speak English. I don't get offended. Making fun of myself. Why, why would I make fun of myself? I mean, because simply, uh, I know that this doesn't affect me. When you are self-confident, and you are truthful about yourself and about everything else, so saying the truth about yourself, it doesn't offend you. Even if it might sound bad, but you are just being truthful. So I don't mind making fun of myself, and people laugh, and I laugh with them. How many times of you heard me, that first time I went in the internet, in the chat, I went in the chat rooms, and everybody cursed me, insult me, and I don't know why, and I was just saying, hello guys. I go to the first chat room, I say hello guys, they insult me. I go to the second room, hello guys, they say the F word to me, like what's wrong with those people, I just hello guys. So room after room after room, all of them they are cursing me, I don't know why, I mean how in the world this is happening. And then I found out I was saying hello gays. You laugh, I laugh about my ignorance in English. You learn, right? You, 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 you learn through your life. So you learn hard way. So it, it's, it's funny. I'm making fun of myself. Some, somebody else was saying, I know this never happened. You know, come on. I speak good English. No, no, this is what happened. I, I don't care what you think. Who cares what you think? I find it very funny, even if it's about me. Every single room I go to it, I say hello guys. But I was typing hello gays. 
And I don't know why those people go crazy. You stupid, you etc. Get out of here. Look, what, what happened? What I did? I'm just being friendly, very nice, you know. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I didn't know what I did, honestly. I, and I, I get so upset, like, first room, second chat room, third room. You know, like, without even a, you know, what's wrong with the, even a Christian section? I went to the Christian section. Hello, guys. Uh, may God forgive you, brother. Uh, please give him a give him a red dot. Give him a red dot. <laughs> and I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so, when you are truthful, you enjoy life, even if it's about yourself. You know, you can tell your friends a story about you, which sound like you know, how in the world you do that, you know? <clears throat> but uh, you can find it something shameful. If you are not self-confident, it doesn't shame me if I do not speak very good English. No, that doesn't. I'm not born in this country. I did not grow up. Look at this bad man. I did not grow up like like you may be. You know, like you you speak a very fluent English. But if I speak to you in Arabic, do you understand anything? No. So it doesn't hurt. And unless you are not confident, and then anything can offend you. Anything will make you upset. I make fun of my look. How many times I say to you, guys, I don't have a mirror. How many times I say, if I open the camera, none of you will stay here. It doesn't offend me. Self-confidence is the key of happiness in anything in life. If you are worried about what people will say about you, you will never enjoy your life. If you are worried what people will say, what are you wearing, what not wearing, what you're doing, what you are saying, you will never be you. You will be them. If you are going to talk as they want you to talk, you never spoke you, you spoke them. If you talk, if you use words, if you use language, like this guy was saying to me, don't use this, don't say this. Then I'm going to say what they want me to say. But this is not me. Why you want to do that? Because you are not self-confident about what you should say. You are worried about what people will say about you. I'm not. I never was, and I will never be. Exactly, I have my own version of English. English. <laughs> but isn't it funny? Listen, isn't it funny that a person who learned in a hard way how to speak English if I can say now I speak English. And then you can find that the impact of hundreds of thousands of people, if not, if not millions, by me. How many Indonesians they know about Christian Prince and read my book? How many around the world read my books? So this is what you can do. Nothing is impossible for a man if he is self-confident and he have a target in life he can accomplish. I have a mission. I am going to tell those people the truth. They might make fun of my English. They might laugh at my English. It doesn't hurt me. In fact, that will make me more proud that I am confident and I will be victorious even when they try to bully me. In the same time, I believe the Lord, He blessed me because I speak Arabic, which maybe none of you do. So Abdul cannot lie to me and say, oh, you don't know Arabic, like they do to David Wood, an apostate prophet. Oh, you do not know, this doesn't say that, CP. And this is why they fear me. And that's why the Abdul, they are sitting like potatoes. Look at this guy, he keeping me lying. He keeps saying to me, lying. Abdul, I don't want to lie. I want to say the truth. Aisha, she have a man come into her house and he sat with her next to her in the bedroom. Can you call me and tell me what happened? Why a man in the house of your prophet wife, Aisha, and she is with him alone in her bedroom? Call me. The hadith in front of you, the sheikh is laughing at it. The hadith, actually the sheikh, he could not even stop laughing. 
he could not stop laughing. Listen to him. His voice is not coming from laughing. Like this is how heavy the the, the, the laugh. <laughs> stop lying. <laughs> Do you want to call him? Let's go there. And he called Muhammad, Muhammad system. This Sheikh, he called Muhammad, your prophet, Muhammad system. What he call him? Muhammad system. What do you call him yourself? Is it true that the prophet Muhammad, his real name is Muhammad system? Prove me wrong. He keeps saying it in the whole video. Muhammad system, Muhammad system, Muhammad system. System in English, system. Thank you, Francis. Do we have any Muhammadan? So they say to you, stop lying. Look, where, where I'm lying, how I'm lying. Tell me, go ahead. Get me busted. My Skype is open. Aisha, she claimed that the guy who is sitting with her next to her in her bedroom, he is her brother from breastfeeding, and Muhammad never heard of such a brother. <laughs> so now, if you go to your house, you find a man in the bedroom with your wife, and you ask her, "Who is that? Who the heck is this guy?" She said to you, "This is my brother from breastfeeding." Muhammad, who grew up in the town, and he is exist before Aisha. Remember. Muhammad is 54 years older than Aisha. He never knew this man. He never saw this man, and yet he is her brother from breastfeeding. What kind of religion this religion is? Breastfeeding. The Muhammadan, they make fun of the Hindus. They say the Hindus, they believe that the, the cow is their mother. Will you believe in the same thing? Suddenly now, the, a woman, she give you some milk, she become your mother. And then Muhammad, he come with something extra. Muhammad system. A man, an adult, can do breastfeeding for an adult woman. And then you ask the Muhammadan, is that will forbid him from having sex with her? They will say no. So what the point? Who is a Muslim would like to call us and open his camera and tell us how you do breastfeeding to adult? And by the way, where is the verse in the Quran is gone? You keep, you know, keep telling us about the Quran is preserved, the Quran is By the way, this guy, he have tons of videos debating Muslim sheikhs about the breastfeeding. Uh, sorry, about the, the corruption of the Quran. Actually, I'm planning to make a video about him, but it's going to be in Arabic. Why? Because this guy is a hypocrite too. So in one hand, let me see if I go to his channel. When they want, they defend. When they want, they insult the Quran. They make fun of the Quran. The whole channel is making fun of the Quran. The Quran of the Sunni is a fabricated. Uh, let us see here. Look, this video here, this video here, he is laughing at the Muslim Sunni. They could not prove that the Quran they have in their hand is the Quran of Muhammad. A Muslim says to him, there is a page in the Museum of England. This is the proof they have. It's, that page is not even proof of anything. This is the title. I can use Google Translation for you. Imagine a Muslim sheikh calling him, trying to prove that the Quran, the Muslims they have, is true. What is the proof? There is one page. There is one page. I wish I, I wish this uh, this uh, video have an English translation. But let me show you this. Here we go. I just uh, translated the title of the video. Read the title. Very laughable. The one who followed the Quran is making fun of them. 
those who follow the Quran, the Muslim Sunni who follow the Quran, the proof of the authority of the Quran is in the British Museum. They don't have a proof. There's a page found a few years ago, and he, the one who gave it as a gift is a Christian guy, and that page is not even the same Quran. It is a page that leather, the leather, the leather is dated to the before Islam even. That is, he asked the Sheikh, what is the proof that your Quran is authentic? He said to him, there's a page in the British Museum. <laughs> Where? In the British Museum. <laughs> that is your religion. Your religion is based on a page in a British Museum page. And we, the Christian, we have tens of thousands of manuscripts. Thousands and thousands. The Muslim, they say our book is corrupted. And yet them, they claim they have a page. The Birmingham is a page, my friend. The one in Birmingham is, it was a gift from Egyptian Christian. It's a page, it's a page. It's not a book, it's just a page. And it's not even the Quran. The, the, the writing there is not dated to the time of Muhammad, but the letter itself is dated to before Muhammad. The leather, you see what they, what they used to do? The same piece of leather, because, you know, those is expensive. The leather is expensive. You know, the poor people, they cannot even afford it. So, uh, when they write in something in it, and then you need to write something new, and that, the one before it wasn't not important no more. So, what they do? They erase it. They wash it. They wash the ink. And they write in the top of the previous one. So what they have is a letter dated to before Muhammad, not only to the time of before, but the ink on it, which is supposedly the Quran, is not from the time of Muhammad. And how we know, you can you can you can see the writing. The writing is different. The writing in time of Muhammad, the Quran, when it came, there is no dot, there is no vowels. All those things do not exist. Same time, you know, in Arabic we have a. Uh, 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 it's like, you know, in, in today in your computer, you have the kind of font. So we have a font style. And there's a font style was not exist in the time of Muhammad. Later was created by, let us say, artists. Those who they are so skilled with writing. Uh, so there's font style. It's like, you know, uh, like, you know, there's a, there's a book. It's called the, the, the Gospel of Barnabas, the, the fake one. Why people don't accept it? Because there is words there, prove that this is, cannot be from the time of Jesus. Not even a hundred years, not even two hundred years, not even four hundred years, not even five hundred years. Why? Because there is words and there is things was not even discovered yet. And word, like, it's like uh, as an example, you say Apple phone. So imagine we have a book claiming that it's coming from the time of Muhammad. And then in that book we have a word that says Apple phone. Hmm? Bluetooth. So language will, ex, you know, will, 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 uh, will uh, let us say, uh, uh, expose the forgery. Font will expose the forgery. Even ink will expose the forgery because there is certain kind of ink was not used. So there's many things to check if something is authentic or not. The material, the way of writing, the font of writing, the language itself. You know, language has changed. Like as an example, if you read old Gospels or Bibles, you will find the word gay, which means happy. So you might find it says he was a happy, he was a gay. At that time, the word gay never used for homosexual. Then the homosexual, they hijack that word and they decide to give it to themselves. They hijack many things from the, from the Bible. As an example, the rainbow. The rainbow is the rainbow of God. This is not the rainbow of the homosexual. They stole our flag. The rainbow never was and never will be the flag of the homosexual. 
This is a biblical flag. They hijack it. They hijack the word gay. We was CP ever a Muslim? My friend, I'm not stupid to be a Muslim for a second. Do you think when I was a kid, let us say I was five years old, and then there's a prophet come to me and says to me, Christian Prince, if you believe in me, I will make your penis endless. What do you think I will say to this man? Who in the world want to believe in such a garbage? People who believe in Islam, they have mental issue. A person who is born into religion, then I cannot really, I mean, I cannot judge him much because he has no choice. He's born there in the family, you know. But to believe in it, something different from born in it. To believe in Islam or to be a convert, that, be, that, that means you are really mentally ill. Like somebody convert to Islam, obviously he have an issue in his head. He have, there is a, the, the screws are loose. The, the, the Billy Bomb have no screws to, I mean, this guy, he worship penises, vagina. So, Anyone who will say to you, okay, accept this man to be your best man. You know, if you are getting married. And then they ask you, who want to put your best man? Are you going to, 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 to make your best man a man who keeps saying, if you believe in me, I will make your penis endless? A man who will say to you, yesterday I took a flying carpet and I was flying in the top of an army. More than 3,500 mile long army in the top of flying carpet with the horses and the camels and the equipment and the kitchen and the house and the palace and the cook. Who you want to put that to be your best man in the wedding? Are you going to make your best man a person he go to his own son wife and he flirt with her when the husband is not there? So if this is the man who is going to be my best man, so who is the worst man? You tell me. However, just to remind you, Muhammad, he said, everyone is born as a Muslim. And later his families, they make him Jew or a Christian. Which means I was an ex-Muslim. And sound like there's some truth in that. My mom, she told me that when I was an infant, I used to do poo-poo. Yeah, yeah. In the diaper. Uh-huh. That is the only proof that I was a Muslim. Nothing else. Actually, when Muhammad he says that everyone is born as a Muslim, just to show you even how silly, how stupid his argument. This guy, he have no argument. So when he say, everyone is born as a Muslim. Okay, I will go with that. Where is the... Too many pages open. Hold on. Let me close some pages. Actually, I want to see who of you can help me. This is what Muhammad said. That everyone is born as a Muslim. Every child is born of the state of fitra. What does that mean? Muslim, they claim that anyone who is born by nature is a Muslim. By nature, you are born, you just came from your mom, you are a Muslim. Okay. And then Muhammad, he said this. No baby is born, but upon fitra, which means as a Muslim. And then his parents, who make him a Jew or a Christian, or a polytheist. And by the way, here, there's something stupid, Muhammad, he's dead. Anyone notice? The Muslim, they keep attacking us, saying that we are polytheist. But Muhammad, he just made it clear, a Jew or a Christian or polytheist. One more mistake. A person said, Allah Messenger, what is your opinion uh, of the one who is born? Uh, sorry, if, if a person, he died on that state, like before the reaching, reaching the age. Muhammad, he gave him a very funny answer.
But who of you here notice something very stupid about what Muhammad said? Which will condemn Muhammad. And I want you to focus on the first part, that every baby is born as a Muslim, and then his parents make him either a Jew, a Christian, or a poor atheist. Anyone notice the problem? Anyone would help me? There's a big problem. Come on, come on. Smart ones, come on. Where is the Filipinos who eat uh, balut? Balut will make you so smart. Come on, give me Filipinos. Where is the Arab who eat hummus? Falafel. Come on. The kimchi people. Nobody? Hamburger. American. Eh? What is the problem? No. Yeah, uh, actually, uh, uh, Arimba, he said something good, that he said Islam is the polytheist, because if there is no is Christian and Jews and polytheist, there is no third. <laughs> but there is a bigger one. Yeah, this is a good one you mentioned. It's true. That means Islam is a polytheist. But there is a bigger one. Focus with me. Every child is born as a Muslim. So Muhammad is born as what? As a Muslim. So what his, day, what his parents made out of him? <laughs> his parents are polytheists. Correct? So everyone is born as a Muslim, and then the parents is the one who decide what you will be. But Muhammad's parents are pagan. And all Muslims, they witness for that. They say, yes, Muhammad's parents are pagan. So what Muhammad become? Pagan. And we are not. We are the Christians. They are the Jews. And Muhammad is the pagan. This is how stupid Muhammad is. So if the parents is the one who made you who, what, what you will be, well, all of us, we knew that Muhammad made it clear even he asked his God to forgive his mother, a lot of you supposedly. And Muhammad he confirmed that his father in hellfire, Abi wa Abu Kafir Nar. The man he asked him, Where is my father? Muhammad he said, He is in hellfire. The man he got upset and he went away. So Muhammad, he shouted to him, he said, don't, you know, your father and my father in hellfire, Abi wa Abu Kafirna. And this is Sahih Hadith. Do we have any Muhammadan? What keep you Muslim? This is the most stupid thing to say that you are born as a Muslim. What does that mean? I mean, you are you are you are you are a baby. You have you have zero uh, brain. Let us say, if we put some dirt in the front of you, you grab it, you put it in your mouth. What what this is? This is a stupid thing. What fitra? You see, if we as a human, we we are not the same as ducks. We are not ducks. Ducks when they are baby, they swim. The human don't. We are not the same as insect or animals who do things without even teaching them. We as a human, we need to learn. As an example, if you put a child in the jungle, he speak to nobody, he will not know language. So if, you're, if you are a German and your son is born, and right away you put him in the jungle to live alone, is he going to speak German if you, if you meet him after 10 years? No. So to say that everyone is born with religion, that is a stupid statement. If you put a child, we take him from his family and we put him in the middle of nowhere. 
and he survived. Do you think he will be Christian? Or he will be Muslim? We come after 10 years, we find him he's a Christian. That is a good one. <laughs> shouldn't he at first, he heard, shouldn't even he knew what the Christ mean? Shouldn't he knew what gospel mean? Shouldn't he knew what God mean? So to say we are born by nature, part of religion, that is the most, they hijack everything, this, this cult hijack everything. Cat is a Muslim, chicken is a Muslim, the dog is a Muslim, the ant is a Muslim. Even shaitan is a Muslim. You know, tons of the skills, if not all the skills you have in your life, it's something you learn from others, and we learn it from people before us. How long it took us to have a computer? How long it took us to discover electricity and how to generate electricity? If you look around you today, there is a, there is a millions of innovation. The dish, the cup, the fork, the table, the chair. I mean, I'm not going to mention the computer. I mean, the, the fork, every, everything is in it. Otherwise, a human, you are not born, you know what fork is. You are not born, you know what electricity is. So, to say that a person is born and he is a Muslim is the most stupid thing. A Muslim who is 30 years old do not even know what Muslim mean. You ask Muhammad himself what Allah mean, he do not know. Here we go, in the front of you. If I asked him how Allah look like, they don't know. Okay, what Allah is made of, they do not know. They don't know. So what do you know about Allah? Okay, what Allah mean? They don't know. Where is Allah now? They don't know. Is Allah in the top of the throne? Sitting or standing? They don't know. Why Allah have a throne? They don't know. Who's carrying the throne? Eight goats. So they worship an unknown God. They have nothing to do with him. They have nothing, no idea who is he. And then you have a madman like Muhammad, and we see this guy dying laughing at Muhammad. A woman, she is doing breastfeeding for adult. You know, uh, today somebody in YouTube, he was making comment in Arabic. Uh, there was a video about a crime. A crime happened. And he is saying, he was saying, well, all those things happen because we are not practicing Islamic law. So I said to him, how you want to prove that this woman is a bad woman? If you're a prophet, he, he needed four witnesses. And those four witnesses, they have to say that they have to see the penis, excuse me, going in the vagina, in and out. They have to see it. A man, he have his wife cheating on him. He come to Muhammad. And by the way, there's a big story behind the story. I was just showing you the short hadith. So the man, he come to Muhammad, he said, so are you saying, if I find, and, and then and later we find that this man, the story is saying, yes, there is a man sleeping with his wife, but he don't dare now to accuse her, because if he accuse her, of fornication and he could not get four witnesses who they see literally the penis going in and out Muhammad will lash his back at least a hundred lash so now nobody there to prove any, how you can prove it if your wife having sex in the top of the guy excuse my language again wearing her skirt Nobody saw anything. Even if you have a million witness, she stand up, the skirt cover everything. Nobody saw the penis going in. There is a story, and I don't know if any of the admin can post the link if you have it in English. Four witnesses. They accuse of a man, a man and a woman having sex together. Three of them, they saw the penis going in and out. The fourth, 
The caliphate asked him, Did you see the penis in and out? He said, What I saw is her feet around his neck and they were shaking like the neck of a donkey, like the, like, like the ears of donkey. The fourth one, he saw them having sex. He saw the man in the top of the women. He saw the women, her legs around his neck. He saw her feet shaking like, a, like, like, a, like an ear of a donkey when he's running. The caliphate, he did beat them all. Because there's no enough, they, they made the, uh, there's no proof. Four witnesses. This is why Muslim women, they can cheat so easy. You accuse her. You ac and, oh, by the way, Muhammad is not protecting women now. All of this because Muhammad, his wife herself, she was accused of fornication with a man, his name is Safwan. So Muhammad to protect his honor, first he waited for four weeks to see if his, his wife, she would have, you know, her menstruation, her period. If she have her period, that means she is not going to have a baby from the guy. So now I can say, oh, it's a lie. So he waited more than four weeks. The whole town talking about his wife, if in that guy. And Muhammad is going to mute. Four weeks after, in the fifth week, he told them, Allah told me she did nothing. And he come with the idea that you have to have four witnesses. Why? Because the, the men who witnessed his wife having sex, they were three. So Muhammad was not protecting his community from false accusation. He was accusing, he was protecting himself, reputation as a prophet, from his wife. Obviously, she is sleeping around. We just played the video for you. He came to the house, he found the man in the, in the bedroom with Aisha, alone, when the husband is not there. In the bedroom. He said to her, who is this? She said, this is my brother in, from breastfeeding. As simple as that. But Muhammad, he never heard of him. Who said, who is this? How he can be, a, I mean, how they can have any kind of family relationship, but Muhammad never heard of him. Remember, Aisha, she married to Muhammad at the age of six. So Muhammad, he knew everything about her since she was a kid. She's his wife already when she was a child. And now, if somebody found his wife cheating with somebody, he have to keep his mouth shut. Not only this, the idiot Muhammad, he come with a new ruling. If your wife, she slept with a man, and even you prove it, listen carefully, even you do what? You prove it. You prove what? You prove that she is sleeping with this guy or any other guy, or many guys. Even if you have a report from the doctor that you cannot have kids, guess the child which your wife she had from her fornication with the new guy is going to be the child of who? Anyone can tell me? Who is the father? To make it simple, a woman, her name is Fatima. She married the man, his name is Muhammad. But she was sleeping with the guy, his name is Ali. Muhammad, the husband, he cannot have babies. Muhammad, the husband, he brought a certificate from the doctor, signed by the court, that he cannot even make babies. Who is the father of the child, which the woman she gave birth to? Ali, correct? According to Islam, no. So imagine your wife, she sleep with the neighbor, and then the son of the neighbor and your wife who cheat on you will inherit you. Muhammad, he come with a new rule that the one who owned the bed, the child belonged to him. Can you believe it? So now your neighbor, 
he excuse my language he if your wife and now he will take your money because his son is going to inherit you isn't it fun the man he slept with your wife you cannot prove now he cheated she cheated with him because you've not have four witnesses now your wife she have a baby from that man now this man will inherit you and take your money and give it to his dad isn't it that fun don't you want to get married as a muslim You look at this child, he, you know, he look exactly like the one who is sleeping with your wife. And he have now your name. He will have soon your bank account. Soon he will have your property. Soon he will have your car. Soon he will have everything. And then he go to his dad. Hey, dad, so you are, you are really my true dad? Yes, my son, let us make DNA test. I was doing boom, boom to your wife because your, your stupid stepfather, who is not your father, huh? <laughs> he's a donkey. Son, I'm so glad that you brought all his money now we can have fun so you take the wife from her and the husband you sleep with her you make babies from her and then the stupid man who is the husband he pay for your babies he raised them for you he pay for their school he send them to university and then when you die the children of the fornicators will take your money and give it to the fornicator isn't this is fun? This is Islam. And as you see the reference in front of you, the boy is to the owner of the bed, anyone who owned the bed. So imagine your wife, she sleep with 10,000 men. Every nine months, she have a baby. There's a stories about Muslim men they went away for a year, two years. Actually, there's a famous story. This is in the time of Al-Bashir in, Su in Sudan when they were practicing Sharia law. Now there's no Sharia law no more in Sudan. So a woman, she'd been taken to court because she is carrying a baby in, you know, in her womb. She cannot hide it no more. So they took her to the court, accused her of fornication. Her husband died about two years ago. Obviously, you have no husband. So how the baby is there? I mean, who is the father? So now they have to sentence her according to the Sharia Allah. But the lawyer here is very well educated in Islam. He told them, don't you know, that according to Islam, a woman, she can have a baby from her previous husband many years after. No way. Yes, brother. And he showed them all the reference, all the scars, proved and approved by Sharia Allah. Now, how many years? Two years, three years, four years? I will show you. So you can have fun. And then you know why Islam is the best solution for you. I will give you the website too. I don't know if the admin have it. The question here, this is a very Muslim website. Islam question and answer. He's asking what is, uh, what is the period for a woman she to be pregnant in Islam? What is the limit? One year, two years, nine months, you know, so if a man he divorces his wife or he pass away, how many months after that, the woman, if she deliver a son, the baby will be belong to that man who died or even divorced? Let me translate. You will not believe what this cult teach. So this is the question, as you see. The longest period of a woman can be pregnant. As you see, this is the question. The answer. They start with one year. 
one year. Nine months, one year. Secondly, the maximum period, according to other opinion, is one year. And that is the opinion of Muhammad, uh, etc., and Abu al-Hakam, etc. But those are nobody. Nobody believe in that. Now we go get to, into serious business. Al-Hanafi, and I think this is the, the sect of Mimi Hijab, they believe that women, she can have a son after two years of her, her, her husband, previous husband, he died or he uh, divorced her. And then other opinion, and that is a, a opinion of a lathe and a sad, uh, bin sad, three years. And then there is other opinion, four years, because Muhammad himself was born four years after his father death. And this is the doctrine of a Shafi'i and Hanbali. Those are two of the biggest Islamic sect, the Muslim Sunni sect, are four. Four. We saw here a Hanafi. This is one. Shafi'i. This is second. And this is Hanbali. Okay, there's only one sect left. Let us see. So how many years? Four years. And this is the most famous of the two opinion. And here he says, according to the Malik, to Maliki, this is the fourth. So now we have the fourth Islamic sect. Five years, which is narration of Imam Malik. This is the, the fourth uh, 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 sect of Islam, the Muslim Sunni. Six years is from the narration authority of Abu Az Zuhri and, and Imam Malik. Seven years. I mean, are we going to stop? We are now in seven years. Any, anyone want to increase? We have auction. Now we are what? We are at the year number seven. So you divorce your wife seven years ago. Your wife, she can call you and say, honey, come to the hospital. Pay for the baby. What the heck? I divorced you seven years ago. Shut up. Come here and pay. Here's your son. What is the proof? Well, he's a stupid like you. Seven years after, let me see if I can make the page smaller so you guys can read better. So we were here. Okay, so we arrived to seven years. Seven years with narration of Hadrati of Azuri and Malik. Uh, uh, sorry, here's six years, and here is seven years. And that is from the authority of Azuri and Malik. And then there's no limit. No limit. According to those. No limit, no limit. So you sleep with a woman one day. She can call you 40 years after. Says to you, this boy, this girl is your daughter. No limit. So what this lawyer he did in the court, he told them, well, there's, uh, you know, uh, don't you know that according to the majority of scars, a woman, she can have a son from her previous husband, even if he died many, many years after? The Sharia court, they look at the evidence in Islam, yes, this is true, so they have to let her go. So then, now the poor guy, the one who died two years ago, his son, which is not his son, the son of the fornicator speaking with his wife, is going to inherit his money. So now the wife, she go back, she's rich, she took the money of the previous husband who died, even if he divorced her, which means she has no right to inherit because now she has his son. Two years after she has a son. From who? From him. And we are proud of it. Hmm? This is the Muhammadan religion.